Coach, this is a return to Paradise Jam. Obviously, you guys did it last year. What's the appeal for a tournament like this, and what do you hope to experience this year that you got last year? Well, we look forward to going. One, sunshine. Mm -hmm. um, but before we get there, we have a pretty tough game <laughs> at uh, Florida Gulf Coast. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, competition. You know, it, it will show you what you're made of. Um, a lot of tough games, uh, different styles of play, um, and see if we can handle uh, business um, in that type of environment. FGCU, they have one of the most well-rounded front courts really in college basketball. So how do you prepare AJ and really just your whole team for that? You know, prepare the whole team. That's what we need. And really our focus has been on uh, the defensive side of the ball. I was not happy of how we uh, performed um, against Austin P. So really went back to work on one-on-one -on -one defense, do your job, make someone score over you and not make our defense rotate every time. Um, and then finish with the rebound. But I think overall, I uh, was not happy with just our heart and hustle. And so um, we plan to sell out at Florida Gulf Coast. On Tuesday, you know, you talked about wanting to open that offense more so you know it doesn't get stuck in certain areas what have you been working on this week to prepare for a team like FGC? Uh, well we've been working on a plethora of things but we started with um, 90 minutes of watching the Austin P game. I thought that was the best teacher. The film does not lie. Sometimes as a coach, when you pull out clips, they're like, oh, you just pulled out this clip just because. So we watched um, the whole game. Um, and then I had them chart. How many times did we reverse the basketball? How many times was the ball stuck in someone's hand longer than five seconds? How many layups did we miss? And I thought that was a great teacher for them so they could visually see it. Um, and then offensively, um, I cut the package down and we just ran a play over and over and over. And we were looking for perfect reps, um, four to five passes, moving the ball side to side. We still will get the shot that we're looking for, but the ball must move. When you go up against a coach like Carlos Mesco, of course, great coach and what he's done, uh, do you feel any sort of, you know, maybe additional pressure? Do you get anything from that? Or is it just, you know, just go into the game normally? We just go into the game normally. Um, we respect every coach. We respect every opponent. Um, and our approach is the same. You know, my focus is on our team, what we need to do to prepare uh, to win. You do have a lot of players on your team, you know, who are younger, who are getting the most play of their career this year, um, which is very exciting. but. You know, you're now kind of facing tournament teams, teams like FGCU, you've got NC State, Colorado. What do you tell the younger players to kind of keep their head in the game, understand it's just one game at a time, or do you lean on the veterans to do that? Well, it's a mix of both. Mm -hmm. You do lean on your veterans. They've been there. Um, there's nothing like experience. Um, but sometimes being young and naive is also helpful. Um, but we just focus one game at a time. Um, we've really been talking about starring in your role. So you don't have to do anything outside of your role. If everyone stars in their role and, and does what they need to do um, and play to their strength, we are a better basketball team. So I think that keeps them focused on the two to three things that they need to do to make this team better. You talked about focusing on defense against their front court, FGC's front court, but they also shoot a lot of threes. They're top 15 in the country in threes per game. So how do you prepare for that too defensively? Well, today we told our practice team they're going to go and shoot threes or layups, but, you know, we can't run to the paint. We have to uh, flood the three-point line, be ready there on the catch, and, you know, make them shoot tough jumpers. Even if they shoot the three, are they contested? Even if they shoot a layup, are they contested? But on the flip side, everybody's asking about, you know, us guarding their three. Well, they have to guard us as well. Um, and one thing we do well is get out and transition. Um, we have some size on the perimeter um, where, um, you know, we can take advantage of that as well. Um, we have Asia Petty who's scoring the ball inside well, so pounding the ball inside. So they're going to have to make adjustments um, to us as well. You've got four games this upcoming week and then three in three days. What are the difficulties involved with that? And if any, are there positives to that? 
you're taking me too fast. Yes, I do have four <laughs> games. Yes, you're taking me way too fast. Uh, one game at a time. Um, the next game on our schedule is the most important game. That's the only thing uh, we're focusing on. And each game, we will prepare for that specific game. Um, and a lot of it's mindset and mentality. And that was my message to them today that's actually on my practice plan. Mindset. What is your focus? It will either help you be successful or you will fail. But you have to have the right mindset. And in order to be the best, you do have to play against the best and you have to learn um, as you go. And we're, we're about to do that. Do you have any fun and exciting plans for this week with the team? Well, I don't know any yet, but Amy Tilly is in charge of that. Um, my mind is so focused on basketball right now, but that's why we have a great um, basketball of operations of Amy Tilly. She's going to make sure um, that there is some fun um, and that's part of her job. Uh, myself and the staff, we're focused. Business trip as normal. A lot of the players on this year's roster have talked about how it feels, it's a special kind of closeness. They feel, the returners feel a different level of chemistry from what they felt last season. What's your take on that? Do you think that this team really does seem to be pretty close? Yes, this team is very close, and um, I think that shows. Um, and they came together organically, which is always the best. And, you know, this has been one of the uh, best teams that I've coached. You know, I coach them extremely hard, and I'm on them all the time. But there is a time that you can be on them, but also a time that you can enjoy them off the court, um, or you can be on them. And I was watching film last night, and um, Sanaya, I literally was on her the whole time uh, during the film session and then she was watching another game last night and she sends me a text and goes, oh, their coach must have told them the same thing. And I said, oh, well, they must listen to their coach. Won't you try it tomorrow? But, you know, you have that rapport um, and relationship, but they are a lot of fun on and off the court. How's Maddie progressing through her recovery? Yeah, day to day, our staff, our medical staff has been uh, vital in her recovery and right now it's uh, day to day. We look forward to having her back to the uh, court and uh, trust me, she's ready to go. You guys have played, you know, at Rupp, at Georgetown College, at Transy, um, and now you're going on to FGCU. Obviously, you know, they will likely have that home court advantage because that is their home, but is there an advantage to you guys kind of playing in different arenas? Well, I, I guess there is, but you know, when we're here in Lexington, we just say we have to treat every game as a home game, no matter where we play. Any gym is home. Um, and then the same approach on the road. You know, you try to win at home, and then you try to uh, still on the road. And you know, it's like I said, mindset. Um, you're gonna have to go on the road. Um, it's going to be a dog fight. And we just have to have the right mentality, no matter who we play or where we play. Of course, Ramaya White signed with you guys recently. Just kind of speak to her and what she brings to the table. Yeah, so excited about Ramaya. You know, uh, she really committed to uh, getting in shape. Um, everybody in the country started recruiting her. Um, and she was always a Kentucky girl that loved um, the University of Kentucky. Um, and we went hard at her. We thought she was a big body post. She has great hands. You're not moving her anywhere out of the paint, but her ability to finish um, around the rim. So very excited. Um, you know, as everybody started recruiting her, uh, she called me one day. I was like, listen, um, she's like, I have all these offers, coach. I'm a little confused. I was like, well, why would you leave home when everything they're offering, we can offer you right here. And so excited for her um, to stay and she'll def she's definitely a great addition for us.